So we just want to get this wet. Not have a stick. And then it stretches. Okay, I guess we could talk about that. Oh, we are, we are on the video. Okay, um, well, let's do some, let's cut off some pieces that we can use here. First, in our friend's coffee cup, which she was unfortunate enough to leave in our van, so we get to use that as our as our water trough. The idea is that we want to allow it to lengthen by getting it wet. So, natural fiber rope. When you get it wet is going to get longer than when you, when you started. We'll just tie a knot on here to start with, but leave a little bit. Leave a little bit of a, of a length coming off of the end. Because we'll come back and we'll tie to that at the end. Now we're going to just do this over and under thing. Over this one. And now as you go, you can you can put a little bit of pressure on it. So under that one. Pull it on through. Pull it tight as you go. Go over that one. Under this one. Over that one. Go as many times as you feel like going around. It sort of depends on how much strength you need the joint to take, how much stuff you want on there. You know, what do you want it to look like when you're when you're all done? Okay, now as we're getting close. We start thinking, okay, now how do we make this stronger? So we've pulled it, but see, it's still kind of, it's a little flexy. Um, the way that we can get that to be strong now is to wrap around and around between. Pulling it tight as we go. Now is when the tension matters. Keep 
pulling out as much tension as you feel like. And then we've come all the way around. Now it's time to tie the beginning to the end. And I'm sure you can do any number of different knots here, but I just usually will just do a square knot. Hopefully I get most of the fibers to come through. So the point is that the that as this dries, shrinks and it'll get a little bit tighter. So right now, fairly tight. I've got a fairly strong joint, but it'll get stronger. And we can just cut off the ends of these pieces. And the idea is to then, if you if you really want it to stay and to not change um, through the, the course of the changes in season and moisture content over the over the year, um, you know, as it gets wet outside, the, uh, the the whole thing wants to um, wants to stretch. Um, you avoid the stretching and the, the way that it'll become lack, uh, slack and loose uh, by doing something to keep the string from absorbing the moisture in the air. And that would be um, adding glue. So you want to use, right now I'm using Type Bond 2, but it should be uh, Type Bond 3 probably. That, Type Bond 2 is moisture resistant. Type Bond 3 is a little better at being waterproof. Um, but while the string is still wet, this, the glue will wick along the string and, and fill up the pores pretty well. So we're just, we're just going and securing the whole thing with the glue. whole thing is having a little bit of a bad hair day, I think. A lot of little fibers left over, but... But basically we're after trying to get the majority of the fibers to just not absorb moisture in the future. So that way, when this dries, it'll stiffen up quite a bit. It'll also dry fairly clear, so it doesn't look quite as messy as it does right now. And there you have it. Trim off the little bad hairs.